being used on that. And now we've got a dive boat that I personally dove on myself, uh, Truth Aquatics, three boats. Uh, they had one called the Truth, one called the Conception, and one called the Vision. And somewhere in there, there's a vessel called the Peace that I used to dive too, but I can't remember who owned it. I can't remember Roy, the guy that owned Truth Aquatics originally, had the Peace or something else, I don't know. But I'm getting off track. But um, I want to point something out to you here. Now, the first video that I saw James Munder did, um, actually he just did an interesting video here you guys might want to catch on uh, Joe Biden's eye, okay? So, um, but that's not the subject of this video. Um, he did a video a couple of days ago called uh, 34 People Burned in a boat fire or something like that. You can see on the screen here. I, I just put it into the search bar for your reference. But I want to point a couple of things out in reference to this gentleman right here, Neil Baltz. Neil Baltz and his girlfriend Patricia uh, Betzinger, maybe. Um, but Neil apparently um, worked as an engineer for a semiconductor company and had studied electrical engineering at the University of Texas at Austin and the uh, University of Illinois in Urana Champaign or something. Okay, so this is going to be interesting, so hang with me. Here's Neil's YouTube page. And um, I just want to point out that I've got the right one here because he's got a video down here, you see Patricia at Fossil Creek Waterfall. So I've got the right one. And um, so I've been, I've been trying to crack this case because there's something that's just not right about this case. I've got thousands and thousands of hours on water. I've actually uh, uh, operated uh, one of these dive boats one time, uh, not officially, but uh, I was known around in, in circles and I knew what I was doing, so you know, the captain would go to the head or something and go down and eat, and I would actually be up steering the dive boat for him. And, um, but, so I've been trying to do an investigation to try to figure out what could make a fire burned so hot and so fast that nobody got off except five members of the crew. Actually, one member of the crew actually died in the fire down below. So um, we've got 34 dead. We've got five that uh, were managed to survive only by getting off of the ship. Now, again, this 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 is the gentleman that we're going to be researching here. This Neil Baltz. Uh, and I, I pray that I'm. Uh, pronouncing his name right. But uh, like I said, James Munder channel did this video called 34 People Burn. And there's a comment here that kind of caught my attention because um, if you look, there's a comment by Major Ron and it says, with that TR3 in the sky, it's not hard to imagine what happened. It must have lost its cloak and someone paid for seeing it. And then somebody said, what's a TR3? They're talking about the TR3 video. And um, actually, James done that, that another video where, where a TR3 video was spotted in Oregon a couple of days after this. So you can check his channel out. But um, like I said, the fires in Northern California were very, very suspect. How they just seemed to pop up, just, you know, almost like, you know, rabbit jumping. And uh, they were kind of contained pretty much in the very same area. And um, so we got another fire here. That, and as much time as I spent on dive boats, I mean, these guys have fire suppression systems all over the place, especially in the engine room, and uh, which is really the only place I can see the, the really hot fire starting. But these are, but it, these vessels are diesel, so diesel really doesn't. It's not super high explosive unless it's under a lot of pressure. So I really can't see it, it being caused by a, a generator. They run the generators all the time. Uh, because they run so many things, you know, fans and lights and cooking and refrigerator equipment, et cetera, et cetera. But this thing burned so fast that 
people couldn't even get off the boat. And um, so I wanted to point out something that um, this gentleman said. He called himself the Good Shepherd. His a person said, um, if you go to the, if you go to this site, the YouTube channel, there's nothing on it, absolutely nothing. No videos, no playlists, nothing, 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 nothing. But he made some interesting comments here and I want to point out to you. Um, it says, Good Shepherd, it says, uh, QAnon is fake. Um, I am the real deal. We are the Good Shepherds. We are many. Prepare. Raytheon will strike with a massive earthquake. Then he says, this boat was hit by a dude. Raytheon. Neil Baltz, diver uh, outdoorsman, aerospace engineer, was a subcontractor for Raytheon, and he was the intended target. I'm also a targeted individual. I have evolved with Raytheon's weapons. I have been sent. So, I did a little research, and that's where I found out this information um, that Neil worked as a semiconductor. He worked for a semi engineer for a semiconductor company and studied electrical engineering. So I'm just wondering uh, if there's some truth to this. So I thought I'd point that out to you. I know we've got some re fellow researchers on the channel and um, I just want to share it with you because to me th this fire is highly suspect. Um, I've, I've spent thousands and thousands of hours on water on dive boats and on my own boat and um, I cannot imagine a vessel, you know, fire moving this fast to the point that almost nobody got off, with the exception of a few members of the crew. But something about this does not make sense. So, just want to share that with you. I'm looking forward to your comments. And um, if you guys are out, any scuba divers out there, looking forward to talking with you and trying to solve this case because this is really bothering me. You know, um, divers are good people. I've had some of the best days of my whole life on dive boats and diving with friends. So it's just something that's almost spiritual. When you're in the water, you look around and got your creation. And it really hurts me that uh, so many people died on this. And um, I'm just trying to get to the bottom of it. So with that, uh, take care. God bless you. We can do anything for you. Let us know. And uh, be safe and stay close to Jesus out there. Okay. Times are getting tough. Real tough. So with that, bye now.